Our Parsha begins with a description of the eighth and final day of the inauguration of the Mishkan. Seven days had been completed, the sacrifices were ready to go, the only problem was the star of the show, Aaron Cohen, was missing. Vayomer Moshe, the Torah says that Moshe turns to Aaron and says, Krav el HaMizbeach, get up and come close to the Mizbeach. The Rishonim notice, or note, the language, the Lashon of Moshe, of Krav, is in the grammatical form of a command, of Tzivui. Why did Moshe have to push Aaron, Krav el HaMizbeach, get up and come close and perform the sacrifices of the day? Why was that necessary? Rashi explains that Aaron was embarrassed to come close. He was embarrassed to perform the service, but doesn't go into detail as to what that embarrassment was caused by. Enter the Ramban, who cites two approaches of the Sifra. The second is that when Aaron walked into the Heichel, when he walked into the sanctuary, he looked and saw the Mizbeach HaZahav, the golden altar, with its four golden horns around each of its corners. And whereas anybody else would see a, a Mizbeach HaZahav, a golden altar, Aaron looked and saw in Egel Hazahav, he saw the golden calf and flashbacks, visions of that moment, of residual guilt, feelings of guilt of that moment in time when Aaron was unable to prevent the people from performing that sin. Enter Moshe Rabbeinu, who calls out a cry that resonates with us until today, Krav El Mizbeach, Aaron get up and perform the duties of the Mizbeach. We don't remain chained to past events experiences, problems, and mistakes. The challenge is to be able to get up, to overcome our perceived perceptions, our perceived deficiencies, and krav el to come close and accomplish whichever task is meant for us to complete. Good Shabbos.